The Women's National Basketball Association was founded on April 24th, 1996 and was a watershed moment for professional basketball because it had been historically dominated by men. Since then, the WNBA has provided a platform for the best female athletes to compete at the highest level and inspired countless young girls to pursue their basketball dreams. So as the league celebrates its 28th season this year, we take a look at the role engineering is playing in the lives of WNBA players on and off the court. According to an official WNBA press release, the 28th season, which started on May 14th, has been the most watched in the league's history, averaging about 1.3 million TV network viewers per game, tripling last season's average of 462,000. The attention generated from talented players and new technology is finally bridging the gap between the NBA and the WNBA. Second Spectrum, a part of the Genius Sports family, started a partnership with the NBA in 2017 and helped redesign the league, bringing viewers closer to the game with new forms of interaction and immersion by pushing the boundaries of deep tech. In March of this year, the WNBA announced a multi-year venture through which Second Spectrum will become the optical tracking provider to the league. With this investment, the WNBA became the first professional women's sports league in the U.S. with league-wide 3D tracking data. Second Spectrum combines machine learning, computer vision, and user experience. It can tell you, for example, that if you want to guard phenom Caitlin Clark, her average three-point shot is nearly six feet behind the three-point line. That's farther away than the NBA's greatest shooter, Steph Curry. It also makes the fan experience richer through video augmentation, informative real-time player stats, and analytics with visually appealing animations. The WNBA has steadily been building champions year after year, but for one former WNBA player, she's building a different type of champion. In the 2019 STEM survey by Emerson, it was stated that two out of three U.S. women said they were not encouraged to pursue a STEM career. Despite statistics like these, Brooklyn native Nisha Butler, a former WNBA player for the New York Liberty, went back to school and became a software engineer with a mission to make engineering jobs accessible to kids of color. So seeing that there was a disparity in like a connection or a pipeline between the children of New York or children in inner cities that um, live under and around the poverty line to these jobs, I'm trying to figure out like how, how can we make this connection? Um, and me being a software engineer, I knew that if I came from the inner city and I can be an engineer, so could other young kids. Combining her passions for sports, technology, mentoring, and education, Nisha Butler opened a coding, robotics, engineering, and art center in downtown Brooklyn called STEAM Champs. STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Arts, and Math. So we have kids play games and learn how to build them all at the same time. STEAM teaches robotics to kids from ages 5 to 13. They learn how to program and build robots using Lego robotics and lower cost robotics. Nisha says she wants to build STEM champions that will take over the world one day. We not only are teaching them fundamental coding skills um, and robotics and programming languages, but every kid that STEAM champs touch, I want them to walk with the vibe that I walked up for a basketball. You know, I want them to walk with that confidence. Oftentimes when I was building my tech company, I was the only woman and person of color in the room. I just came in here and I was like, what's happening? And then everyone just said, here, just push this button and then I learned how to code. I always say, um, I am very confident that all the kids that come through my program, if they choose to have a career in STEM, they will go pro. I cannot say that um, for a basketball. With this. I think it's under 1% of kids that actually play basketball in America um, have the opportunity to even go pro. And if they do go pro, it's about an average of four year career. So whether you're a young girl chasing your dream of becoming a pro basketball player or a kid inspired to become an engineer, there are many women throughout the history of basketball and engineering that have overcome obstacles, broken down barriers, and of course, shattered glass ceilings. And if you enjoyed this week's episode of The Circuit, don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe for more incredible engineering news.